Welcome, it's Mr. Lux, back at you once again, aka the Married Gamer. And I'm going to start a new series with uh, NCAA Football 13, uh, Dynasty Mode. You know, since all the new information is coming out about NCAA 14 and Madden 25, it's kind of giving me a little oomph to get back into uh, playing NCAA 13. So, here's my Kansas State Wildcats with my uh, Heisman candidate Colin Klein and my impact runner, uh, Justin Hubert, and also my, my general defense, Arthur Brown. So here's the first play of the game. Klein's dropping back, looking for somebody back open. He feeds it, and oh my goodness. Throws an interception on the first play of the game, first game of the season, and we're playing against an FCS team, Missouri State Bears. Um, so they were able to get three points off of that possession. Now, Keep in mind, my dynasty mode right now is based off of me being the offensive coordinator. So you won't see any defensive plays here. Um, so again, this is um, three minutes left in the first, second and eight. Shotgun handoff, and we're just getting. I mean, we start out very, very slow. Uh, Missouri State, they really came to play, understanding the opportunity at hand to uh, knock off a uh, look right there. I mean, knocking the pass down. They, they came to play. Look, they're getting excited. They're pumped up. So, uh, let's see. It's a minute 17 left in the first, second, and 18. Single back formation. And here's my backup running back, uh, Antonio Angelo Peace. Uh, he's really been impressive in uh, spring training and in practice. And uh, he's in the game right now because John Hubert, my starting running back, is out right now with back spasms. Uh, so he's still hurting pretty bad. So I elect to keep a uh, piece in. But now we're in the second quarter, and Hubert's back in the game. Uh, second and four. First complete pass uh, from Colin Klein uh, to Chris Harper, our big wideout. And uh, you know, he really brought that brought that in and held on to it. So he's a really good possession receiver. He's not going to blow you away with speed, but he has solid hands. And here's a good run by Hubert. Uh, kind of got set up at the end by the uh, DB from Missouri State. But, uh, you know, making positive yards. So we're starting to get a little momentum right now. I got Peace back in the game. Uh, let's see what, what he does. Nice handoff off tackle. And again, uh, first down. I mean, he's he's really, uh, he's a hard runner. And, you know, he's not afraid to, uh, you know, take it up the middle or to, uh, you know, sweep it around the corner. Another uh, shotgun handoff to Peace. Look at him. Oh, rushing up. Oh, no, a fumble. Uh, but we end up getting it back uh, again. That possession received with good hands. He was able to uh, secure that fumble, Chris Harper. And, of course, they uh, <laughs> Peace is happy that he was there to, to, to clean up his mess. All right, so third and 14. Let's see what Klein drops back. Oh, he hits uh, Tyler Lockett across the middle. Uh, Tyler Lockett has a strong family history with Kansas State. And, uh, all right, so we're on the board now. Finally, six points. Uh, but Tyler Lockett has a strong uh, family heritage at Kansas State. His father and, I believe, his uncle both attended Kansas State and played for the Wildcats. So there's a lot of history there with the Wildcats. But as you can see here, John Hubert runs it up the middle. So now was 55 seconds left in the second. First and 10. Klein throws it deep, oh, we call the defense sleeping, to Tannehill, which is my tight end. Not known for his speed. And here's uh, Klein trying to bulldoze up the middle for a little bit. 33 seconds left in the second. We're trying to make a score real quick. Quick out pass to John Huber. All right. Let's see. Oh, oh, Klein. oh, Klein's going for it. He is going for it. Did he make it? Did he make it? Let's see. I don't think they're going to give him the touchdown. They said he just came up short, and as you can see, his knee did hit down about the uh, one-yard line. So, Klein's making some adjustments about the defense, seeing what they were in, and there is Hubert in for his second touchdown of the day. He's an impact player for a reason, and he shows you right there. He knows how to find that end zone. Got the Wildcat fans uh, cheering and, and going crazy, which is a good thing. All right, so now we're in the second half. First and ten. He drops the throw on first down. And Klein throws an ill-advised pass. I mean, that was just not a good decision. Double coverage. Got it picked off. Trying to throw it to Sexton, which Sexton is not even a starting wideout. 
Um, so, you know, he really probably wouldn't have made that catch. Uh, but luckily, we still held them on defense. They didn't score any more than the three points they already had. But we made rushed it down the field, and uh, we uh, got the Missouri State coach very nervous because he senses the momentum shifting. Um, it's Klein. Throws it to Tannehill. Uh, oh, Tannehill has those sure hands. I don't know how he dropped that. Uh, but that was a good play by the number 21, that DB. I think he was also a part of that interception not too long ago. But here's Hubert again running it up the gut for his third touchdown of the day. Um, I mean, he's just really racking up the TDs in this game. I mean, they're short yardage, but he's doing the same. There's Arthur Brown right there celebrating on the side with the defense because they're having a fantastic day. Uh, keeping Missouri State at three points. Klein drops back. Still in the third. He throws another deep pass. Oh, look at Lockett with the acrobatic catch in the back of the end zone. That was fantastic. Uh, and that's what he's known for. He's a really athletic. He's not a very big receiver, but he's athletic, and he makes plays like that. Look at this. Awesome. Awesome play. I mean, he just jumped right up and just snagged it away from that DB that was hoping to catch an interception. All right, so now we're back. This is the uh, closing in on the end of the third quarter, first and ten. We're in a shotgun play, Look more like a pistol formation. Klein rolls out to the right, hits Tannehill with those sure hands that he's known for that he didn't display on that touchdown possible play early in the second. All right, uh, last play of the third. He read option, Klein keeps it, and uh, he's that's what he's known for, those big, tough, hard yards. He's a big, hard, aggressive runner. Uh, sometimes to his own demise where he gets banged up a lot, but uh, he did a very good job right there uh, Picking up those tough yards uh, and getting us a first down. So now we're at the beginning of the fourth quarter 28 to 3 still and a nice run up the middle with Hubert uh, Following his blockers as you can see 53 yards on the day with a four-yard uh, Average per carry, but he has three touchdowns and there's Klein again big hard runner as you can see He always falls forward uh, when he gets tackled and that's you know that's positive yards. That's which that's an extra two to three yards each time. Another passing opportunity. Ooh, Hubert makes this a good play, but he gets hit in the process. You know, Klein is not known for putting up a lot of yardage on the, in the air, but 136 yards so far in today's game. Another drop back. He throws it deep. Oh, trying to force it almost caused another uh, interception. Um, so uh, there we go. We come out, and then we kind of run it up the score. It, it, we got docked 50 points by the game for unsportsmanlike. Um, but, you know, so be it. We're trying to win a game in convincing fashion. We got peace in the game. In the backfield, let's see what he does. And he runs in with a, I mean, uh, with a hole you can drive a, a Mack truck through. And uh, peace has really been showing me a lot of progress, uh, in, like I said, in practice and in just spring training. And uh, he's, you know, Hubert is going to have a battle on his hands for that starting position as the season goes forward. But this game comes to an end. We were able to put a dominating win together, 38-3 uh, to 3 over Missouri State. Started out a little slow, um, you know, that we have most teams concerned, but we just stayed poised, played like the Wildcats we know we are. And with Hubert's three touchdowns on the ground, a fantastic catch by Tyler Lockett in the air for a touchdown and also peace for his score. Uh, we were just able to really uh, force our will on the uh, Missouri State Bearcats. Uh, I mean, they're an FCS team, so they don't have quite the level of talent that we have. Um, but they still played a very tough game at the beginning. Uh, player of the game, John Hubert, of course, with his uh, three touchdowns. You know, no argument there. So, hope you guys enjoyed this recap of my first game of my uh Dynasty mode with the Kansas State Wildcats. Um, I'll be posting these these gameplay recaps on a frequent basis as I uh, play the games. But until then, it's your boy, Mr. Lux, a.k.a. The Merry Gamer, a.k.a. The Below Average Gamer. And don't forget to leave a comment, a like, any kind of feedback on this series. And also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at Mr. Lux. If you don't know how to spell it, it's up in the top right corner of this video. And until then, peace.